and welcome to video 3 in the Index Laws video series, another short video on how we divide terms with indices. Okay, here's our first example to illustrate the technique we use, m to the 5 divided by m to the 3. Our answer here is m squared and you'll notice that 5 and 3 to get a 2 will subtract those indices. So the rule is when we divide terms with indices we subtract the indices. Now I want to uh, write these out in expanded form just like we did with the multiplies just so that uh, we can see why this, uh, this rule is the case. Why do we subtract indices? Well we can write this uh, horizontal division here of uh, Originally we have m to the 5 divided by m to the 3 written horizontally but like any division we could write it with uh, m to the 5 over m to the 3. The thing that's dividing is on the bottom if we write it in fraction form like that. And so as we uh, ex write it out in expanded form n m to the 5 means m times m times m times m 5 m's all multiplying with each other on the top and on the bottom m to the 3 is m times m times m now I've done that in a deliberate way to write it out and uh, just uh, process it a little bit more clearly here. So what we can do here is uh, do the traditional what we'd call cancelling down. If I said to myself m goes into the bottom once and into the top once and this m can go into itself once and into this one once this m can go into itself once and into this once now all these m's are cancelled out on the top here, they're no longer there. And down the bottom we actually have 1 times 1 times 1 on the bottom. Now we don't have to write 1 on the bottom. So what has survived is an m times m on the top there. And you'll see that m times m is equal to m squared. So that illustrates our rule here. We got this one up the top here by subtracting, five, taking 5 minus 3 there and getting the rule, that's a bit like the shortcut. If we wrote them both out in an expanded way and did our cancelling carefully, we would discover that m times m is our remaining terms. There, there, there are our remaining answers. So they match up there. I just wanted to show you in expanded form that the rule actually works and it does make sense in a mathematical way. Okay, when we have some numbers involved as well, we've got the same terms there, m to the 5 divided by m to the 3, but we've got some numbers out the front. Now they didn't make a lot of difference, uh, the numbers out the front when we were multiplying indices, and they don't make a lot of difference here either. So our, our process here, m divided by 3, uh, sorry, 12 divided by 3, is normally just 4, and that's true here as well. The front numbers uh, are just divided normally, so they shouldn't put us off. And the normal rule is, yeah, m to the 5 divided by m to the 3, we just got through saying that we should subtract the indices. So the answer to that just gets tacked on after the 4 as well. So in the end there, um, hasn't uh, hasn't happened done, done a lot there. I'll show you in an expanded way, if I join my illustration from before, that um, when you've got the 12 m to the 5 at the beginning of a horizontal horizontally written uh, division there, we can write it as a, as a fraction with the 12 on the top and the 3 on the bottom. And really the 12 that's beside the 5m has, a, has an invisible multiply between it, like here. And there's a multiply between the 3 and the m down the bottom there as well. And uh, so wh what I did last time to illustrate the uh, situation was divide m's into the top and the bottom. And if I did it again just to show you here, we saw this in the last example. So they're all gone, they're all cancelled out. And we can do that with the with the numbers as well. When we cancel down numbers, we try and find a number that goes into both the top and the bottom. And in this case, we can divide 3 into itself once, and it goes into there 4 times as well. So on the top, in the end, we have a 4 times an m times an m remaining, and that gives us 4m squared if we write it out. So that's just to illustrate that it works whether you are just thinking about it horizontally or if you want to double check this uh, to just see that, that you've, done it, you've done it correctly. This is a, an expanded way is a good way of double checking your answer. So I hope that helps you figure out how to divide indices. So, so far we've had multiplying indices where we add the indices and dividing indices where we subtract the indices. There are two main rules we've seen so far.